Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 6 subject science. In that chapter number 7, chapter name is getting to know plants. In the previous video, part 1, part 2, part 3, we have part 3 we have seen up to main 10. Today we will see main 11. Match the following. Write the alphabet from section B. In the answer, it's 2 marks. Now see the section A first of all. Number 1, sepal. Number 2, petal. Number 3, stamen. And number 4, pistil. Now see the section B. A. Attracts insects. B. Produces ovules in the ovary. C. Protects flower in the budding stage. D. Produces pollen grains. And E. Develops into fruit. Now see the sepal. Sepal match with the C. Protects flower in the budding stage. Number 2, petal. Match with the A. Attracts insects. Number 3, stramen. Match with the D. Produces pollen grains. Number 4, pistil. Match with the B. Produces ovules in the ovary. Now see the main 12. Answer the following questions in details. It carries 4 marks. Now see the question number 1. List different types of roots and explains each in detail. Now see here it's a tap roots. Tap roots in that uh, it's a roots are goes deep. It's a lateral roots. Here it's the main root. And here is the fibrous roots. It's a here is the filament. Now see the point answer. There are two types of roots, tap root and fibrous root. Number one, tap root. It possesses a main root and many branches. Here's many branches are there. Okay. Arising from the main root it's the main root it grows very deep in the sea the very deep in the soil dicot plants have taproot system example mango neem banyan field bean field bean peas etc now see the number two it's a fibrous root Fibrous roots are usually formed by thin, moderately branching roots growing from the stem. It has many thin, small roots. It does not grow very deep in the soil. It does not grow. Monocot plants have fibrous root system. Example, wheat, millet, maize, sugarcane, bamboo, coconut, etc. Now see the question number 2. What do you mean by the mination of a leaf? Leave different types of venations and write a short note on each. Answer is the arrangement of veins in the leaf is called leaf venation. There are two different types of venations. Number one, parallel venation and number two, reticulate venation. Parallel venation. The arrangement of veins in the leaves in which they are parallel to each other is called parallel venation. And all the monocots possesses parallel venations. Example, banana, rice, coconut, mango, grass, etc. Now, next one is reticulate venation. Answer is the arrangement of veins in a leaves in which they form net-like structure on both sides of the midrib is called reticulate venation. Dicots possesses reticulate venation. Example, basil means tulsi. China rose, people, field bean, banyan, mango, etc. Here is the see the people leaf is given. Now see uh, question number three. Draw a neat and label diagram of the tura leaf, moonflower. Means the tura leaf means moonflower. List its main parts and write a short note on each. Answer is different parts of the tura flower and their information is given below. Number one sepal. The outer parts of a flower that have leaf-like structure is called sepal. These sepals form the outer hole that encloses the petal and is known as the calyx. Number 2. Petals The colored leaves that are arranged inside the sepals are called petals. Now see the next page. These are generally arranged in a circles and their collection is known as the corolla. See, here is the calyx okay now here is the petal this one is the stamen stamen see this one is the stamen okay 
it is situated inside the petals in the petals it is situated it is the male reproductive part it is the male reproductive part of the flower it is made up of two parts anther this one anther and filament number 4 pistil this one is the main one it's the pistil the innermost part of a flower is called pistil it is the female reproductive part of a flower see here is the diagram is there this one is the style this one is the pistil this one is the stigma and stamen here is the panducle it's a ovary here is the sepal okay it's a leaf like structure and here this one is the receptacle now you can able to see clearly okay now see the main 13 describe the following experiments with uh, proper figures 5 marks each question number 1 describe with the help of an experiment that stem conducts water and dissolve minerals from the roots to other parts of a plant a means to prove that stem conducts water and dissolve minerals from the roots to other parts of a plant apparatus and materials are tender plant glass blade water red ink now see the figure here is the herb means without seed glass it's a glass and here in the glass water plus red ink see the procedure pour water to fill one third of the glass add a few drops of red ink to the water cut the base of the stem of the herb and put it in put it in the glass containing red water observe different parts of the plant the next day and co- observation is the stem and the branches of the herb turn red see the conclusion the stem of the plant conducts water and dissolve minerals now we will stop here and we will see this question 2 in part 5 stay safe to healthy okay bye